Hey internet, how's it going? It's been a while since I've just sat down and talked to the camera, like a really long time. <laughs> I actually sat down and filmed a video earlier today. I was going to do my urine review, but for multiple different reasons that wasn't going to work out. Number one being that this video is part of what I'm doing for my accountability group and that meets tomorrow, so I need to have this video done tonight. I've had a lot of conversations with some people lately about how annoying it is when people get onto a video and just like talk about them not making videos. One of the things that I did in my vlogmas videos near the end was try to take out as much of the me complaining about how bad of a vlogger I am because it's just like not that interesting to listen to. For full disclosure, this video is going to be about me and my life and why I haven't been making videos and whether or not I'm going to be making videos going forward. So this is what you signed up for. If you don't want to listen to it, I'm sorry, you don't have to. This year has been kind of crazy. In my video last year, my year in review, I talked about how <laughs> I started my year 2,000 miles away from where I finished it. And that's the opposite this year. This year, I started my year in the exact same place where I finished it. But the, <laughs> the stuff that happened in between was very drastic to make that happen. This year I finished my master's degree and I moved to Montana, which is probably the riskiest thing and the scariest thing and the most disruptive thing that I've ever done in my entire life. It was risky for a lot of different reasons and one of the big ones was I was moving to a place so far away from my family where I only knew a couple people and only knew them like a little bit. I've talked about this in a previous video, but Man, I am just overjoyed with how well I've been able to fit in with the groups that are here and the relationships that I've been able to make with people here have just been amazing. So I'm really grateful for that. One of the other th cool things about this year is that I've done a lot of traveling. This is a thing that I've tried to prioritize as uh, I've gotten old enough and you know earned enough money that I had the opportunity to do it. But I got to see a lot of the United States this year that I had never gotten to see before. We all know how I feel about mountains and that was pretty amazing. Got to see the desert in just the middle of the summer, so that was a little bit terrifying. I got to see the solar eclipse, which is this amazing thing that happened and I can't even describe what that felt like. All in all, I've just had these amazing experiences and I've met all of these really amazing people and I couldn't be more happy that I made this decision. There are still things that every day frighten me about this decision and make me worry about the future and I think that's just the way that things are. I mean, for a long time I've not been sure where the future was going to go and this is just another step in that. I'm really grateful to have had the opportunity that I've had over the past year. So what that brings me to now is where am I going? Where am I going with this channel? Where am I going with my life? I'm plugging along here, things are happening. I came out here to be an executive assistant. I am now the COO of Cinema Studios. That is its own set of scary things and challenges and excitements. I'm learning a whole new skill set that I didn't expect to learn. But what it means is that my life is very busy and I put a lot of time into making this small business work. And when I'm not at work, I I choose other things to do with my time that aren't YouTube. Uh, normally it is hanging out with friends, playing board games, or watching Marvel movies or silly series, or going to Glacier National Park, or any other kinds of hikes, or going floating in the river, or doing any of the various things that you can do here, just being with other people. I was doing a lot of YouTube when I didn't have other people to interact with. I've always in my life prioritized relationships. And when I have the opportunity to build and maintain relationships, I'm going to do that. And that doesn't mean that the relationships that I've made online aren't important. It's just, in a lot of ways, some of the relationships that I've made online have now become relationships in my real life and they are very important to me and I want to maintain them. It makes me sad that that takes so much time away from online relationships because I know that they have suffered. And I feel that weight because the online relationships that I have created mean a lot to me. And at a point in my life, those were kind of the only relationships that I had because I didn't know anybody who was physically in my life. I am very grateful for those and I would like to apologize very sincerely for just 
falling off the face of the planet and not being a good internet friend. I'd love to sit here and be like, I'm gonna make so many more videos and I'm totally gonna jump back into the YouTube scene, but that's not realistic because that's not really where my goals lie right now. I've gotten to a place with video making where it takes a lot of time to make videos and it's very tedious in a way that I don't enjoy. So for my accountability group and just in general life, I think I'm kind of pivoting my life in a different direction and finding other creative outlets. In the next couple months, it's going to be writing. I really enjoy writing and I don't get a lot of opportunity to do any writing in public. Like, I do a lot of personal writing, but never get to share it with anyone, and it's something that I very much like to do. So I want to develop my storytelling skills and my writing skills, and who knows what'll come from that. I don't know if it'll end up being a blog, or if I'll share it anywhere specific online, or if it'll just be a thing for me. I think writing is going to be the thing that I look at for the next couple months. Does this mean I will never make a video again? Probably not. I like being able to look back at things. I was just last night watching through my VidCon vlogs and I need to finish still one of the VidCon vlogs, oops. But it does mean that I'm not going to be making an effort to have any sort of regular schedule. I will still be around on YouTube. Anybody that wants to comment on this video, I'm gonna read that. I'll try my best to every once in a while pop in and see people's videos, but I don't even spend a lot of time watching YouTube anymore, which is unfortunate. All that being said, I'm very grateful for the community that I have here and for the people that I've met and for the opportunities that have presented themselves to me because of YouTube. I would not be where I am today if it weren't for YouTube. I won't forget that. I will be around other places. I am on Michael's vlog channel. It's called What I'm Doing Right Now. So youtube.com slash what I'm doing right now if you wanted to see what we in Missoula do on a daily basis. You can also find me on Twitter and on Snapchat and Instagram. All of those links are in the description. So I'm not gone from the internet. I'm just not here here right now. All right, I think that's it. I've got to edit this thing and then uh, got to get it uploaded before brunch tomorrow. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you over and over and over again for all of the time that you've spent watching my videos. It means a ton to me and I guess I'll see you all later.